Hey guys, so it's the second episode of Charles Chado, and I'm going to uh, this Korean place downtown in Hamilton. It's called Cho Sun Oak. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that name too bad. I'm going with my friend Jesse. Uh, she's the one that introduced me to it. So, right, so let's go. figured uh, we get some late night food. Oh yes, this is my friend Jesse. I don't think I introduced you guys to her. She's uh, this little one is doing a master's in uh, what are you doing a master's in? Immunology. Immunology, yes. That sort of thing. All I know is she kills a lot of mice, so for all you PETA lovers out there, well, I guess she's not your type. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're going to a restaurant now, and I'm gonna assume that is it. Right there, let's get a little image of that. Korean restaurant and bar. Oh, cool. Nice little place. Stuff on this menu. That's the rice. Mm -hmm. So I think Jesse here is ordering the pork bone soup. <laughs> Come up shortly. I'm still thinking, maybe I'll get the rice. Hmm. I wonder what the difference between pork, uh, like soup and stew is. Do you gotta get him a drink? Okay. Okay. Order? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to get number 54. Number 54? Can I get the pork bone soup? Yep, that's everything. Jesse got the pork bone soup right there. Look at that. How neat is that? It's an appetizer that comes with the meal. I can't see it right here, but Jesse spilled some water there recently. So last time I came here, I came here with uh, Alice. Oh. Have you met Alice? Nope, not met Alice. This place is pretty good. So this is our food. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. This oh is God, our your strap is gonna black bean. That was the camera strap, not not my strap. There's the pork bone soup and the uh, black bean uh, noodles, or otherwise known as jia jia mian. Some appetizers. It's good. So we're gonna eat and uh, see you guys after. Okay, so we're done, and that is not from the black bean noodles. That's from Jesse. She lent me a pork bone, pork bone uh, item. It's the bill, Jesse, not the menu. Maybe I'm just hungry. Uh oh. Stomach uh, full? Thank you. No problem. Hey guys, so here's the review. So the food was pretty good. Uh, I guess recap, I ordered the black bean, bean sauce noodles, which is uh, pretty standard for a lot of Korean restaurants too. And Jesse ordered the pork bone soup, which is also very standard. So. Uh, I tried some of her food as you can see from the video and it was good, uh, flavor is good, uh, it's a bit spicy which the way it should be and um, the portion sizing was very good, uh, both of the uh, items were $7.99 so for the price, good value I would say and um, I, if you saw the menu items there is quite a assortment of stuff and they are actually more known for their barbecue items uh, but I didn't get to try any. Eh, I'll go back sometime and take a look at those. Uh, the one thing I really liked was the pancake that they gave, they gave us, as you saw too. It was uh, pretty neat, and um, never had any uh, one of those uh, at a Korean place before, so it was good. Although I have to say the the smaller appetizers, the one in the little little cups, little bowls, whatever you uh, call them, uh, were a little bit late. I thought usually they give them out much earlier, and before the meal uh, arrives, and. Uh, the service was alright, I would say not average. It was a little bit late when we went there, so and it was kind of downtimes. And 
The food took a little longer than I would have liked, but probably because it was late and they had to really remake the food and probably it's a lot better uh, service in the rush hour when the food is already pre-prepared and stuff. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for that one, but that's uh, a few things that I wasn't too happy about, but overall it's a good experience. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for some good Korean food in Hamilton because I'd say it's a pretty good place. I would go back uh, once in a while. So, alright, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys there.